Hey guys, welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel. It's Lauren here from Furniture Flipping Teacher, and we're back for another FFT Friday. Today I'm going to be making over this media center shelf display. It could be used for so many different things, so we're just going to call it a display cabinet for now because I think it could be used as a bar cart and just so many other things. I got this for $30 at Goodwill and I couldn't pass it up because of its style. It's a mid-century modern, just needs a little bit of love in order to get back to its not original state. but a state that someone might want it in because there's a little bit of damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by cleaning. You guys know I always use a double bucket to clean my pieces and usually I have a spray bottle of white lightning, but Dixie Belle recently came out with a new cleaner for silk paint specifically called Pristine Clean. So since I'm going to be using silk paint on this, I am going to utilize the Pristine Clean and I am going to be dumping this into one of the sides of my bucket. You don't need too much. It's about a teaspoon per gallon. So obviously this isn't a gallon, so I don't need quite a teaspoon. It is recommended that you wear gloves when you're using these cleaners just to protect your skin. Sometimes I forget because I'm getting in too big of a hurry, but try to remember to protect your hands. So I'm just going to mix this around a bit and I've got the cleaner water over here and then the rinse water over here. Okay, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and get my sander ready. I actually decided not to pull out my sander, but since this is a much smaller piece, I'm gonna be using a Surf Prep Rad Pad in the blue color, which is a fine grit. And the whole point of what I am about to do is just to give a little bit of texture to this surface, because right now it's pretty smooth and there's nothing for that paint to grab onto. Today I'm gonna to be using my favorite black from the Silk line, which is Anchor. This is going to be covering the top and then some other spots as well. I'm gonna be using my Scarlet brush and a detail brush to get along the edges because I don't want to paint on spots that I don't want paint on. And you're not gonna water it down any. It has a built-in primer as well as a built-in top coat. So you don't have to do a top coat like satin or flat over the top. It's just all built in there. You do not wanna overwork the silk paint. So just a couple of strokes back and forth is more than enough because it's also pretty self-leveling. All right, finished up with the first coat and I'm really liking it. It's just a little bit of an update, like I said, because some of that wood was damaged. Actually, I'm not even really sure. I'm 99% sure it's not real wood. I'm pretty sure it's just that laminate material. So I, the top was quite damaged and definitely needed to be painted, but then I really liked how the shelves and the backing and stuff was still in really good shape. So I decided that I was just going to see what it looks like once I paint the trim. And so we're gonna leave the legs down here. I'll probably update the gold, but other than that, we'll wait for this first coat to dry and then we'll move on to coat number two. We're back for the second coat and usually between coats, I like to just do a light sanding. So I'm gonna take a sponge sandpaper and just smooth out a little bit. We 
We've just got a couple more steps until this thing is all finished. And one of those includes the legs. So like I said, I'm gonna keep them wood, but this gold part needs just a little bit of love. So what I'm gonna be using is Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax. And all I've got is a detail brush here. And I'm gonna take some wax onto my brush and put it right over that gold. But I don't wanna get it onto the wood. So first I'm going to tape off this line right there so that I don't risk getting any gold onto the wood part. It's those details that really truly are going to matter in the end. And when you take your time, it's gonna actually save you time in the end because it's gonna look better and you're not gonna have to go back and just remove this or fix any flaws. But you can already tell the difference and it's significant. I love this style and shade of gold much better than I do that old yellow gold that comes on a lot of furniture. So if you ever want to update hardware or legs or feet or anything like that, be sure to get yourself some gold gilding wax. It'll be linked down below in the description. And they've also got copper, they've got bronze, black, silver, zinc. So tons of different colors to choose from and it stays on long term because it's wax so you don't even have to put a top coat on it. Gilding wax is done on all of the little feet, so that's gonna dry for a bit. We will buff that out in just a minute. All right, we're ready to buff out this gold gilding wax, and when you're buffing, you're just basically rubbing it in, but then also rubbing back any excess that didn't quite stick. You shouldn't get too much off of your area where you put it on. Alright, and now we take the tape off. Alright, let's flip it back up. We got one more step until she's all done. Recently, Dixie Belle also created an extra coat of top coat. So it's just gonna be thin and it's not that you need it, but since this spot up here is gonna be a little bit more of a higher traffic area, if you're worried about damaging the tops of things, you can always go one extra step and put some extra coat on top. Hey, that's gonna dry and then we'll be done. Here we are, finished product. And I put the glass doors back in there. These are removable, so that's really nice too. I can advertise them with the doors as well as without the doors. Like I said in the beginning, I think this would be really neat as a bar cart. So just putting some alcohol down here and some cups up top and stuff like that, or even a little bookshelf, even a little media console for a small apartment. This just has so many, many different uses. And that's what I love about pieces like this because it caters to a wider variety of people instead of just specific people. So always be on the lookout for things that have a multitude of uses. And also be on the lookout for things that don't take a lot of work. This took me, let's see, right around four hours and that's including dry time and it's including, you know, sanding and cleaning and painting and everything. So this really was a quick flip. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I know it was quick, but also I used a couple of newer products like the Pristine Clean and the Extra Coat for the Silk Paint. Those are available on Dixie Bell's website. You'll find all the links for everything I used down below. So thank you guys for watching and spending a little bit of time with me here on this FFT Friday. We will of course be back next week. So we'll see you on the flip side.